Hello, today I'm going to give you a short introduction into Lean Functional Testing or short LeanFT. LeanFT is a test automation solution that addresses the advanced tester who more likes the development or coding approach to test automation than having a nice uh, simple to use UI and front end. So this addresses more developers who know development environments, languages like Java, .NET, JavaScript. Um, these are actually the languages that are supported and you, it integrates in lots of IDEs and lots of operating systems here. I'm on my Linux machine. It also supports Mac and, and Windows and um, I'm using here IntelliJ, but also runs fine in Eclipse and Visual Studio, Android Studio as well. When you install it, you just get this menu with an object spy and re test recorder where you also can record some steps. And yeah, so in the back, you see uh, I already created some uh, a test and uh, yeah, so that you see something is happening. I'm just running it. Um, it is going to test a simple web UI, and uh, but it also supports mobile devices, Java applications, .NET applications, Windows, Windows Presentation Foundations, SAP, or even Mainframe. So you see the script is running, um, doing lots of steps quickly and some clicks on this web UI and also some checks. And we got a result. The result looks quite nice. It's uh, yeah, an HTML report. Um, which shows you exactly what the tool was doing and also can can include some some screenshots but I show that later let's see how you actually create these things first uh, you need some some basics so, so you get this framework by the way with the before class after class and just have to fill in your code so what need, uh, should be done before the test like launching the browser navigating to your web page and after the test close everything um, the, after the entire test. So there are tests which are test methods. You see these test methods which did run here and uh, this is before each test method. Um, I'm doing nothing uh, before each test, just at the beginning at, at the very end. So in each test I'm doing some clicks here on this web page and therefore to, to actually code this I can use the Object Identification Center and I, of course, need also my application under test. So I'm going to open here my AOS web shop. And then I can use this spy here to identify the objects that are on this page. So let's do identify this one here, for example. You see it is suggesting me here some properties. Uh, which I can use to identify this object and I can just use these and validate okay by doing so it finds this object and if I'm ex for example not using the inner text property just uncheck it see if it's still unique oh no there are lots of spans on here yeah that's what I expected now it's using just span as the only property to identify the object and this is of course not unique so I could use it instead if you want to identify it by the ID for example um, then you can validate it is this the only object with this ID yep perfect so it would just need the ID and could uh, um, yeah identify this object so I can copy it to my clipboard and then simply paste it in my uh, IDE so then let's say ID tablets um, this is the object and identified by ID this is the value of the ID and then you can apply some methods like click etc you could also do something more tricky. For example, in this case, we had luck. The ID, the object has a perfect ID. It has a name. It has a visible text. 
everything nice. Let me just unselect this and for example if it wouldn't have any of these things like you just know it's a span and I don't know which one then you can look at for example this which is the upper object in the hierarchy and you can use both together so if this one has uh, maybe here an inner text or or unique ID then you can say I want to use this one identify this object but actually I want to then search within that object for any link which is inside this span this is tricky isn't it so let's see if this works yeah finds it so let's generate the code and you see that this code is quite tricky. So paste it, name it, <laughs> tricky, tablet link. So, and again, I would do maybe a click. You see, it's identifying this link, but by you searching for a span which is inside uh, yeah this object so um, yeah it's kind of nested and how quickly would you generate a code like that so now I did it with just a few clicks and by just selecting so this is very useful to create stable scripts in case not all objects have proper IDs or identification criteria. Quite nice to create scripts like that. So um, now I get uh, like uh, lots of uh, rows that do actually the same. So I uncomment these and let's see if this runs just this test. You have seen the other ones running already. So I'm now just calling this test test tablets. Um, and it will ignore all other test methods in my code, which is, by the way, a JUnit code. You can also use lots of other frameworks with LeanFT, like NUnit, MSTest, Cucumber, TestNG, Jasmine, or Mocha, um, which are all supported, and we provide a, a like a template for that, so that you get the basic methods and everything and just need to fill in some code for your tests. Yeah, so um, what else can we do? Clicks is one thing, keyboard, enter keyboard values, clicking on images, searching, there's OCR text recognition to find texts and also you can find images and you work with related, uh, visually related objects and all sorts of uh, crazy things to get yeah clicks and input automated and swipes and uh, zoom and pinch and everything you can do with mobile devices as well so and then you want to also do some verifications probably so for example for this um, let's say for this speakers label um, here this label I want to check the value of the label so let's me first identify the object um, this one and I want to check if this text is correct so I'm probably not using the uh, the text itself but um, maybe preferable just the ID and see if it finds this okay copy and paste so this is like be my um, this is going to be my actual uh, value let's say actual is uh, on my link uh, speakers link um, I'm using the get inner text would be the actual value so the inner text property is just saying speakers here right so you see inner text speakers this is what I want to check 
Um, so I'm extracting here the inner text and let's say I got the string expected which is just speakers as a constant value you can of course read this, this from somewhere like for example ALM data table or BPT iterations or something so the, it's also well integrated uh, in, in ALM and, and BPT and also your CCI system like Jenkins and um, yeah, Bamboo and Team City and and so forth and uh, as well as yeah with Mobile Center Storm Runner functional so you know the whole suite. So let's uh, continue with the verification. Verify is the keyword. Um, you see there are lots of R equal um, R not equal and things like that. Um, so lots of different ways to verify things and uh, I'm just starting with R equal. First we need the actual, no expected, expected, actual. Now I can give it a name, let's say, um, yeah, verify speakers label mm, and a description if label text is correct and last but not least I can add a rendered image so I want to do a screenshot of the browser let's use the browser object get snapshot and then I got a screenshot added to my log that's how you can do a verification Let's see if this is working. It's opening the web page, doing the verification and green. So I can take a look at the result. It should just have the verification in it with the screenshot. Here is the verify speakers, the expected and actual, and includes the screenshot of the current uh, web page at this step. So if you run this all together, you will see this nicely embedded with all my other tests. And somewhere in between there is this check. running 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 <laughs> and there I got the result our thing passed so let's view the last run result and you see together with all the other steps I got my verification here and it's yeah added the screenshot to the entire run result which is HTML by the way so this really can be opened from Jenkins or any CI system with web front end quite easily. Yeah, that's a basic introduction to LeanFT. I hope you enjoyed it. There's lots of things more to say. Um, yeah, remember that you can also do lots of other technologies like web, mobile, and use other IDEs and uh, run it in, in different browsers you can test in, in Chrome and Firefox, Edge, Internet Explorer, Safari or use PhantomJS for quite fast execution of the test. So this is lots of possibilities. Um, yeah, but that's it for a short introduction. I hope you liked it. Have a nice day.